We about to change up this whole entire energy. This is the best Batman fucking ever. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ever. First of all, you are my Catwoman and you are my Batman. I oh. was on the edge of my seat, sir. <laughs> I am... I mean, to the point where I was telling people, get away from me before I hit you in the eye. Look, <laughs> let me ask you guys this. Like, during filming, what was, like, the surreal moment for each one of you guys that you were like, oh, man, I'm I'm, I'm really Batman. Like, I'm really Catwoman. Like, what was that moment individually for both of you guys? You know what? You know one of the weirdest ones? What? There's a scene. <laughs> this is kind of dumb, but it's actually, like, <laughs> but it's actually true. There's a scene when I'm on FaceTime with the Riddler, and I, I, because it was really on you FaceTime, you can see yourself. And I can see myself. Oh, that's in, really funny. I'm looking that's at really myself funny. In, in the little the little screen, and I'm like, "This is really that's this really, is really funny. strange." And it felt it's like, that felt very very real for a second because it's also Batman doing like a normal <laughs> thing. Know, that's normal really face, funny. Right. That's really funny. I mean, honestly, whenever I saw Rob in the costume, it was just you know the silhouette of it all and everything. It was so real, and it, I would get giddy, and I, it was you know it's like. It's like seeing Batman in real life. You never really get used to it. And and I also think when I, I, I unfortunately wasn't able to be in the Batmobile at all, or, but when I, I would see it, I was like, oh my God, it's the, it's the Batmobile. I mean, it's the Batmobile. That's so cool. reminded me. The Riddler does FaceTime calls. Zoe was criticizing me because I always FaceTime instead of calling. The Riddler likes to FaceTime too. Yeah, and the Riddler's a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you under there? What are you hiding? Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. I think one of the things that both of you guys did that honestly has never been done, it felt real. Like Matt Reed, like it felt real. Like Gotham was real. And it wasn't like comedic in any type of way like before. Nothing about before, but it just felt real. Like you gave me a real experience. Yeah, you know, I think that was that was very clearly Matt's intention from the very beginning, and he was very focused on that. Whenever I think, whenever I would kind of do anything that felt at all out of character, he would always bring me back. And, you know, I think there's something really vulnerable and very scary about that as an actor because, you know, the audience is kind of expecting those those comedic moments and those kind of, you know, broad, more broad cartoonish moments that we love and they're so fun to watch. And you kind of have to trust and hope that people will be willing to go on this more human emotional journey with you. And so it's really nice to hear that, that you were that you were into it. Well, if anything happens, if anybody ever says anything, y'all two have the ability to say, your Romeo said best fucking Batman ever and nobody can tell you that. My guy, thank, thank you. Guys. you. <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you.